Hey everybody, it's Mark Pruitt with Strategic Estate Planning Services. I hope this video finds you well. This is another strategic market update. We appreciate you being here. Uh, I can tell you we've had lots of data coming in, so we're going to try to hit this as quickly as we can for you. First off, CPI, Consumer Price Index, came in at 8.5 for the month of July. That is the first downturn that has occurred in months. Market CPI has just continued to go up and up and up and up, and we are finally seeing for the first time that it's becoming, it's coming down ever so slowly, I might add, but it is at least a start. Uh, gas is still high. Groceries are still incredibly high. Uh, people are feeling that at the pump. They're feeling that in the food. If you go out to a restaurant, restaurants and many of them have changed their menus because of pricing. And so uh, we're not out of the woods in that regard yet, but there is at least a start. The Federal Reserve, in my opinion, is still tightening down into a shrinking economy. The GDP has been negative for the last six months, January, February, March, April, May, and June. That is a technical recession by definition, and you will begin to hear all kinds of people then beginning you want to try to refine and define uh, of what a recession is. It has always been that. It has never changed. But nobody likes to admit or, or announce that a recession has started. Yet that has been the technical definition forever. Now, what are some of the anomalies that we've heard and people talk about? Well, we had a strong jobs market, as an example, in July. But that is not one strong jobs market in July does not necessarily mean that we're not having a shrinking or declining economy as a whole. So what's the proof of that? Proof is real simple. You can look at the first chart that Laura is putting up there, and it is basically a news release from the government that says uh, these are the unemployment insurance weekly claims. This is going from July, uh, basically August of 2021, all the way through August 6th of 2022. If you'll notice that the market jobless claims kind of bottoms out, which is good news. You want it lower around April of this year. What has it done? I mean, I'm talking the beginning of April. So from the beginning of April, though, all of April, basically, all of May, all of June, all of July, into the first week of August, jobless claims have done one thing. They have slowly gotten higher and higher and higher, which means more people are applying for unemployment insurance because they are being laid off. And so while they tout one month of a high claim that came in better than expected, that has nothing to do with the, a, a pattern of unemployment claims, which are climbing. That is the one part of a recession that you will begin to see slow, uh, happen more and more and more. Let me give you two other or three other examples. Apple, as an example, has now, and we're putting the link up there for you to look at, Apple has now said, that they are slowing down their hiring process, as an example, for the rest of this year into next year. Google has said the exact same thing. They're going to slow down the hiring process, and what they're going to do is for in their expenditures. Microsoft doing the same exact same thing. All of them have actually announced this publicly, and the links are there for you to look at to actually see that. So. Why do I mention those three? Because they're some of the three biggest companies out there, Apple, Google, and Microsoft. And so when the big players are beginning to say, we're going to stop and slow down the hiring and the spending, they are beginning to batten down hatches because they see what they feel like is coming as well, is that that economy is going to continue to tighten. And so keep that in mind in regards to what's happening out there with the actual unemployment claims and the slowing of hiring and GDP shrinking. And so when you have things like that, you get into the last thing I want to talk to you about, which is the bear market bounce that we have had, uh, our bear market rally that we have had in July of this year. It's also known as a dead cat bounce, believe it or not. So if you're a cat lover, sorry, I didn't name that. that that's what they named it. And also a sucker rally. 
which means people get thinking, thinking it's all over now, we're at the bottom and the markets are going to start moving forward only to be followed by swift downturns. And so look at this last chart that Laura's going to put up for you. And that last chart shows the actual one that occurred in uh, 2001 as an example in 2002. Now I could go back in the 70s, I could actually look at some of that that's even happened in, in later years, but we're going to use this one as an example because it's easy to follow. 2001 around May, you saw the markets go up swiftly there. You see it colored, that color-coded area where markets went up and right after that what they do? They dropped very quickly. You saw that happen in 2001 around May. You saw it happen in September of 2001 all the way into April of 2002. Markets had a good, had a good incline followed by a very swift downturn. You also saw it in um, basically August uh, of 2002 as well where markets shot up and then followed by a swift downturn. Now eventually that works itself out and it will recover and begin to come back. But I don't want you to feel like that we're necessarily at the bottom. When you have a shrinking economy, you have CPI, consumer price index inflation, that is still high even though it's curled down finally a little bit. And you have big companies beginning to tighten up their own hiring processes and spending processes. Uh, People, that's a lot of signs to say we're not, we're not out of the woods yet. So that's the thing I want you to be aware of is we're still staying as conservative as we can to not mirror markets, but we, we may not experience all of that upswing that we had in July because we're not, we don't feel like we're done yet. So we've weathered the storm well. You've done good at, on, on hanging on in regards to all of that. Uh, if you have any questions about more detail of this, feel free to call our office at 1-800-381-8870. We'll be more than happy to talk through the detail with you. But just know that we're watching, we're measuring, we're monitoring, and we'll, we're ready to go and move when this thing begins to move with us. But right now, we do not feel that is the time, so we're still staying in a very conservative position. Hopefully, this has been helpful for you. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week. We'll talk with you soon.